The plan to transform the 64-year-old Tri-County Mall appears to be back on track. Mike Shell joins us live from the site of the old mall, which will be transformed into a place where people will live, shop, and be entertained. Yeah, Rob, a sight that hurts the eyes for those of us who have uh, shopped here at Tri-County Mall and seeing what it has become. Now, the new development has a new name. It'll be called City Center Springdale. Now, the once proposed $1 billion plan ran into some foreclosure issues back in 2022, but the developer, Market Space Capital, says they are back on track and ready to move this project forward. Nothing but weeds, empty parking lots, closed stores, and a blank marquee sign have permeated across this 60-plus acre site since it closed in 2022. Today, that leaves many who shopped here remembering what it was like. It was fun. Like, I was young. I grew up here, you know, um, just all the stores and seeing everything. It was nice. Yeah. What about as a social setting? Was it a social setting in here? It was until they did the whole curfew thing. But um, up until that point, it was a attraction, great place to come and hang out. Coming out of foreclosure, Texas-based Market Space Capital reacquired the property in July and says they plan on going forward with the project. They are changing the name from the original Artisan Village to City Center Springdale. The company says it plans to dedicate hundreds of thousands of square feet to retail, hospitality and office space and to have about 2,600 multifamily residential units. Springdale's economic development director tells Fox 19 now the city is actively engaging with the property owner to develop a vibrant mixed use project that will stimulate investment and foster growth throughout the community. Kayla says she can't wait to see some semblance of her old mall back. I will be one of the ones to see what they turn into. I will be one of the ones lining up front row. So yeah, excited. <laughs> I was able to connect with Springdale Mayor Lawrence Hawkins today. He was uh, not in a position to go on camera, but he did tell me that uh, this project has a long way to go before the first building is torn down or the first shovel of dirt is overturned. The mayor says that uh, you'll be anxious to see the plans when they are presented to the Springdale Planning and Zoning Board. Live in Springdale, Mike Shell, Fox 19 Now. Mike, thank you. It's